So in today's video, I basically am just going to try to make myself look foxy, Bella Hadid, because why the frig not? Why? What else am I doing? I'm not doing anything else. So let's try it out. Foxy eyes is basically this, this trend right here. And that makes your eyes look lifted and very Bella Hadid. So I'm just going to try to make myself look very Bella Hadid like for the next 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to start it off with some lip injections from Too Faced because I just feel like that goes with the trend. And so this, the smell of this instantly, instantly brings me back to high school. I was obsessed with lip plumpers in high school. Not this one in particular. I was definitely too poor for that. But the Sally Hansen Lip Inflation Extreme was my jam. And this has a very similar smell. And it just kind of makes me happy right now. So we'll see if it has any plumping, juicing effects. But anyways, we're going to move on to the face. We're going to get it nice and airbrushed looking with the Dior Backstage Primer. I love this stuff. It's like this light peachy color and it's just my favorite primer so this even without putting makeup on over top of it it just makes your skin look so smooth and like airbrush like i said next up for foundation we're going to continue with the designers and we're going to go in with this ysl touche claw all-in-one glow foundation i've raved about this a bunch of times if you're looking for a dupe for this the color pop pretty fresh Tinted moisturizer is so, so, so similar, but I happen to like this color for me right now better than the ColourPop, so that's why I'm using this. But that ColourPop one is amazing. I actually just like to apply with my hands, and I've shown this many times, but I just feel like it just gets right in there. And you can go over it with a brush afterward or like a sponge if you want to get it like extra perfect, but I feel like it just blends really nicely with your hands. Shoot, I really wanted to watch that Vogue Bella Hadid makeup tutorial, but I totally forgot. Oh well. And then I'm just going over it with a brush to really just buff it in there. This brush is from Doll 10. It's very similar to the Tarte one, to the Koki one that I love. But I would honestly go with the Koki one because it is the most affordable. And my lips are burning, if you were wondering. And by the way, my lips are on fire. So before I go ahead and do my brows, I'm going to prime my eyes, which is something I don't normally do. I usually just use concealer, but I wanted to try out this putty eye primer from e.l.f. This is in the shade Rose, which is just kind of like this beigey color. And I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this as a base. I typically don't use eye primers just because I don't have like oily lids so i don't usually have a issue with just using concealer but i figured why not try this out and see if i like it and for some reason i really do not like the elf putty primer i know a lot of people love it but for some reason it makes my skin look like an old crepey crepey bag of skin i don't know it just is not cute on me so next i'm doing my brows and just brushing them up so for this look it's very like straight and high and arched but not like arch like this like a straight arch going up so it's a strong arch but the arch does not come back down what goes up does not always come back down so i'm not about to shave off the end of my eyebrow i'm not that dedicated but i am going to try to make them more straight which i kind of do already and i just recently did a whole brow tutorial so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet but I'm just going in with the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Neutral Nana. So next up for the eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Reezy Palette once again. I just used this in my last makeup video, but I want to use it more. And a lot of you guys said that you bought it after I talked about it. So I'm going to go in with the shade up here. It's called Wasted. And I'm putting that underneath my brow bone. And also just like all over the lid. So it has like a little bit of shimmer in there, but I think it's pretty 
Look at the subtle shimmer. It's not like frosty. So this is just going to be a base for everything. Next, I'm going to go in with OG and this is going to be our crease color. And I'm going to concentrate most of the shadow to the outer portion. So we get that elongated eye shape. So I am bringing a little bit of it into the inner part of the crease, but I wanted to deposit the color on the outside first, since that's where I want the most color. So I'm kind of like dragging it out. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of face powder. So this is the face powder I'm gonna use on my face later. So I'm just gonna use that to blend it a little bit as well. Just so it kind of like fades and disappears into the skin. So next I'm gonna go in with this black shade here called BK. And I'm guessing that stands for Brooklyn and not Burger King, but you never know. So with that, I'm going to do kind of like a winged liner, but with shadow. So I'm just going to take my brush and place it at the same like angle of my eye. So as this eye turns upward, I'm going to follow that edge. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be like smoking it out a bit. But then I'm just going to take that and draw a line across. And I also just did a whole video on my wings. So if you want more in-depth like talking and explaining things, definitely check that out. I did like a liquid wing, a powder wing, and then a pencil wing. I'm just going to clean that edge up with my finger to get that very nice diffused wing. And then I'm taking a little tiny bit and just pressing it along the inner lash line. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here called 1988. And it's just like a dark chocolatey brown. And I'm going to smudge that like along what we just did. Just so it gets nice and smoked out then i just switched to this pencil brush from makeup by mario um and i'm going in with that because it's a little bit easier okay so before i finish up the eyes i wanted to add some concealer so this is the dior forever correct concealer i really like this and you really don't need a lot so i'm just going to put some on the inner corner some on the outer corner and then do a little bit. I didn't mean to put that much in between my eyebrows, but whatever. And just do a little bit like out here. And then I'm just going to set that with my Ilia Soft Focus Powder. Now back to the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of that OG brown color once again and on my pencil brush, I'm just going to go underneath. So then I'm going to go in and do some liner on the inner corner, like that inner tear duct area. And that's really going to give that like foxy look, that cat eye look. A fox is not a cat though, so I don't know why they're calling it that. I guess like it kind of looks... In it. That is besides the point. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick Pen Liner. So it has a very fine tip. And I'm basically just going to elongate my tear duct. So I'm going to take the tip of this and go at the same angle that my eye is already going. 
and just like extending it. So just the teeny tiniest little triangle. And then I'm gonna connect it to the inner corner of the lower lash line. And I'm sorry if you can't see, I just have to get so close up, otherwise I can't see. But yeah, you really just wanna get in there and go on like the waterline part of your eye as well. Oh my God, this is, a, this is just like a whole nother wing that you gotta worry about making it even. This is very stressful. How do people do this? Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of dark brown pencil eyeliner and just do like that outer waterline, like that corner waterline, just to get it really dark in there. And this is the CoverGirl Perfect Point eyeliner in espresso. And I'm also gonna use that to tight line to really get the exorcism vibe. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that alone for right now. I am gonna add lashes, but first I'm gonna add just a little bit of mascara. And for this, you want your eyelashes to go out. So everything is going like that out shape so it elongates. So if you're not applying false lashes, you just wanna take your mascara wand and fan them outward. I'm not sure if I even wanna do the lower lashes. Maybe I'll just do like the outer corner. Again, like dragging them outward. So while my mascara is drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and sculpt my face. This is the Lawless Bronzer in the shade, we don't know, we don't know the shade, but this one I like, it's a little bit lighter and a little more cool toned. And I'm just gonna be using this to contour. My forehead is super wide, so I always like to do the sides and also the top. Then I'm also going to sculpt my cheekbones with this. I have pretty prominent cheekbones as it is. So I, that's why I don't really like full on contour very often because I feel like it just makes me look really harsh, but I guess that is the vibe for this look. But when I do contour them, I kind of just focus it out here because if I drag it down, it makes my face look really long and like dude-like. So I kind of like bring it in and almost go on the cheekbone. Also like taking my brush and like blending it with the shadow. Then I'm just doing my jawline, double chin. My jawline is just never gonna be as snatched as Bella's, but it's fine, it's fine. Then I think I'm gonna try to do with the snatch for the nose. So first I'm going to do the tip and my nose is never gonna look like hers because mine like goes down and it's just, I have like no bridge. It's just, there's not a lot going on. Then I'm gonna try to do like a button tip. So I'm gonna put a little shadow there maybe. <laughs> I'm not good at nose contouring. I feel like it just always looks like a pile of dirt, but I am going to kind of do like a circular shape at the tip in hopes to give me a button. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. And I'm just doing the sides and kind of like coming to a point almost, not like to a full on point, but a little bit more narrow than I normally would. Then I'm just going over it with my powder brush. There's nothing on this, but whatever's left over will soften that a little bit. Should we do a bake job? Let's just do a little baby bake job. That's as good as she's gonna get. I'm not a baker. For blush, I think I'm gonna go in with this one from Cover FX. It is their blush due in the shade Warm Honey. And this you do not need a lot at all, so I dab it off on my hand before it even touches my face. So I'm gonna go in 
right up here. And like the higher you put your blush, like the higher your cheekbones are gonna look. It's gonna, oh shoot, see, I put too much and it betrayed me, but it's okay. We will fix it. So this color kind of gives you like that sunburnt, I'm a model, I just got back from Central Pay kind of vibe. So I'm dusting that off. Then for my highlight, I'm gonna use this Crushed Foil Highlighter from L'Oreal in the shade Rose Quartz. I'm just putting it on the tops of my cheekbones up here. And a little bit above the brow. And then a little bit on the nose. And I think I wanna actually take a little bit of that and just place it on the center of my lid. Next, I am going to brush up my brows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and just get them nice and fluffy. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm gonna do lashes, lips, and then we'll be all set. So these are from Ilore. I'm not sure exactly which style these are because I lost the box, but I will find out and link them for you but they're basically like a three quarter lash. So not quite a half lash, but not a full lash, like a three quarter. So this is gonna really give that elongated shape as well. So I'm gonna set them down. And at the very outer edge, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room and place them a little bit higher so that they follow that winged eye shape. See? Oh, we are looking very snatched in the eye department. Very snatched. Snatched. Oh, we are doing it, honey. This is coming out way better than I expected. Then for my lips, I'm gonna go in with a brown liner just to give that very full pouty look. This is an old one from NARS. It's in the shade Yeras or something like that, but any brown will do. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna go, oh, oh. I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with KKW. Biatch, Kimberly, Kimberly, what the freak? This is so terrible. I wish you guys could see how awful this was. Okay. Anyways, it's still usable. It's still usable. I'm just gonna have to dab her in. A little dab will do ya. All right, and then if you see like a little gap in between where you put the lash and your lash line, you can just kind of go in with some shadow try to fill it in. Then lastly, I'm gonna go in with some dewy set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so my camera died, I got cut off, but during that time, while my batteries were charging, I was trying to snatch my hair into a situation, but then my only hair tie broke and I'm not about to go to the store right now. But yeah, I feel like I did a pretty good job at the Foxy Eye Trend. What do you guys think? Do you think I nailed it it's it's more wearable than some of the other ones out there but that's kind of my style i would definitely wear this in public if i could go out in public i would wear this maybe uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know how you're doing let me know if you like the foxy eye trend and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Oh my God, my stomach is just always, you know, putting me on the spot, okay? Like, I will feed you when I'm done. Relax. I have a clip. Does this look like Bella Hadid? No, I just look like a bald little boy. That's all I look like is a bald boy. My head is not the right shape, my ears are not the right shape, and I'm not pulling it off. I'm not pulling it off. Why can't I look like Bella Hadid? I look like freaking a wannabe Tomb Raider. Laura Croft. Try the tint. <laughs>